everybody, Edward here from renegadeinvestor.co.uk and today we're going to be talking about why I personally believe that the Bitcoin price has good potential for hitting all-time highs in 2016 and why we are about to begin the next stage of this bull market that could take the Bitcoin price well beyond the highs last seen in late 2013. Whilst the price is only one factor to look at in regards to the health of the Bitcoin network, it is an extremely important metric that drives massive interest in Bitcoin as a whole. Without a doubt, the last two years have been very challenging for investors in the alternate investment space. Not only have we seen a prolonged consolidation in the precious metal space with gold hovering between the 1000 to 1300 range after pulling back from its $1900 high and silver hovering in the mid-teens after a run up to $50 in 2011, but we have also seen a prolonged bear market and consolidation in the Bitcoin price over the last two years following the parabolic run up in the Bitcoin price to a high of $1242 in late 2013. Although this dramatic drop-off in price had a very negative effect on sentiment in the Bitcoin space, especially with people that don't understand long-term fundamentals that are driving Bitcoin adoption, I personally believe that just like gold and silver, Bitcoin is in a much larger secular bull market trend that could last multiple decades and that the recent bear market in Bitcoin is just a natural consolidation in the price before the main bull market trend resumes. In order to create a kind of powerful bull market we saw with Bitcoin in 2013, the market needs three different attributes to align simultaneously. So the first is fundamentals, the main reason that justify and drive the intrinsic value of the underlying asset. The second is technicals, a way of evaluating an investment based off of previous price volume and market statistics to predict future price direction. The third is market tone, which is the overall attitude of investors towards a particular asset or market. And so today... We're going to look at all three of these points individually to see why all of these may be about to align to create the next stage of the bull market in Bitcoin and why this could bring an all-time high in the price of Bitcoin in 2016. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the fundamentals that will drive the Bitcoin price in 2016. And the main ones, in my opinion, are the growing risk of capital controls and bail-ins worldwide. The reason why these are two of the main fundamental reasons driving the value and price of Bitcoin today is because people look to Bitcoin to escape counterparty risks associated with legacy banking systems and fiat currencies. Like we saw with the bail-in of depositors back in Cyprus in 2013, where in some cases depositors with over €100,000 took almost a 40% haircut on their deposits, which was converted into bank stock in order to shore up bank balance sheets, and the capital controls we saw recently in Greece in response to their ongoing debt crisis, where citizens still to this day are limited to just €60 a day withdrawal limits, as well as other conditions. History has shown that these events can have a huge effect on the Bitcoin price and they look set to worsen and spread to much bigger economies in 2016. One of the main reasons why I believe this is going to happen is because on the 16th of November 2014, the G20 agreed to implement similar policies like those used in Cyprus to classify deposits as part of a commercial bank's capital structure, essentially eliminating private ownership of money held in banks. These proposals look set to expand from the 1st of January 2016 when the EU is implementing a directive called the EU Bank Recovery and Resolution Directive which looks set to create a framework for using bail-ins to shore up failing financial institutions in the Eurozone area using customers' deposits as collateral. The very fact that this type of legislation is being implemented likely indicates that governments and central banks could be expecting a large-scale 2008 type crisis in 2016. The first potential use of new legislation to come from the EU Bank Recovery and Resolution Directive could happen in Greece. And evidence to support this view came from a statement made by Deputy Finance Minister George Huirakis on October 21st, 2016, when he stated, The expectation is that if the economic environment remains stable, capital controls can be lifted in the first quarter of 2016. First of all, there is no chance that the economic environment will be stable in Greece at this point. And secondly, the time frame stated Q1 of 2016 coincides directly with the implementation of the EU Bank Recovery and Resolution Directive. This leads me to believe that the capital controls currently in place in Greece are there to ensure that the maximum amount of deposits are in place for a potential bail-in of bank deposits at the beginning of 2016. 
If this were to happen, I would expect a big move upwards in the price of Bitcoin. In addition to this, other countries in the Eurozone area, such as Spain, Portugal and Italy, all have similar debt-to-GDP levels of Greece, and depositors in these countries could also find themselves subject to the bail-in framework proposed in this new directive. Another indication that capital controls are about to go mainstream in much more developed countries is recent news that following China's devaluation of the yuan by the lowering of interest rates for the sixth time in a year and another reduction in their rates reserve ratio, which states the amount of reserves banks should hold, China is looking to expand capital controls to stop yuan outflows from the country by targeting underground banking operations and by making it more expensive for investors to speculate on the yuan. The effect this could have on Bitcoin is best summed up by a recent post on Zero Hedge on the 25th of October where they quote, If a few hundred million Chinese decide that the time has come to use Bitcoin as a capital control bypassing currency of choice and decide to invest even a tiny fraction of the $22 trillion in Chinese deposits into Bitcoin, whose total market cap at last check was just over 3 billion. Sit back and watch as we witness the second coming of the Bitcoin bubble, one which could make the previous all-time highs in the digital currency seem like a low print. Other noticeable attacks on depositors that could affect Bitcoin adoption in a positive way is rumours that Australia is planning attacks on bank deposits starting the January 1st, 2016. If these come to fruition and is implemented without major pushback from depositors, then this could also become a template for other major nations around the world to bring in similar legislation. These actions, if they come to fruition, could make Bitcoin bid as we move into 2016. In the last few months alone, we began to see an increasing rate of intervention from the last remaining backstop of the global financial system, the central banks. This indicates that the half-life of central bank intervention in the markets is deteriorating at an ever-increasing pace. Not only did the Federal Reserve fail to raise interest rates in September and October after forward guidance that a rate hike would likely happen in Q3 of this year, which indicates that they have no belief or ability to pull the US economy out of the pending recession, but we've also seen the Central Bank of China, the PBOC, cut interest rates for the sixth time in a year and also reserve rate requirements to allow Chinese banks to extend more credit to keep the markets propped up. In addition to this, we've also seen Mario Draghi of the ECB hinting at more stimulus through either the extension or expansion of QE policies in the EU going forward. One indicator that backs up this theory that investors are losing confidence in the central banks is the CBOE SKU index, which measures the risk of sharp downside movements and potential black swan events in the S&P 500 index. Throughout September and October, we have seen a big rise in the index, which indicates that traders see an increased chance of more downside risk in this market. Another really important data point to look at is the increasing prospect of negative interest rates in the US following the September 2015 Federal Open Market Committee, where two members of this committee actually believed that interest rates should go negative by the end of 2015. The prospect of negative interest rates, along with the increasing easing of monetary policy and currency debasement are rolled over from central banks as we move into 2016, could finally destroy confidence that artificial stimulus can ever be wound down. This could begin a massive rotation out of fiat currencies and increase capital inflows into Bitcoin in 2016 as people look to preserve purchasing power. Another key fundamental that could have a dramatic effect on the increase in the price of Bitcoin in 2016 is the halving of the Bitcoin mining reward, which will reduce the overall supply of Bitcoins being created by 50%. This happens every four years and the next occurrence is due to happen around July of 2016 and will drop the Bitcoin mining reward from 25 Bitcoins every 10 minutes to 12.5 Bitcoins every 10 minutes. A good place to track this countdown is on the BitcoinClock.com website shown here. By the economic laws of supply and demand, if the supply has and demand continues to increase due to other reasons discussed in this video, then we can expect a big increase in the price of Bitcoin to compensate for the drop in supply. One thing to note is that the Bitcoin market will likely begin to price in the halving event before the actual event occurs. I believe this will happen in late Q1 into Q2 of next year. So the last fundamental we're going to take a look at that could help support an all-time high in the Bitcoin price in 2016 is the large amount of venture capital that is going into Bitcoin companies, which in turn are creating the infrastructure and services that support investment into Bitcoin. 
Back in 2013, the Bitcoin infrastructure was still in its infancy, with only a couple of main exchanges where you could purchase Bitcoin. This severely hindered capital flowing into Bitcoin and led to a large degree of concentrated risk. However, as we head into 2016, the amount of venture capital that has been invested into Bitcoin companies has just topped over a billion dollars, and all aspects of the Bitcoin infrastructure, from exchanges to wallets, payment processing, financial services and mining, is becoming more and more diverse. The fact that so much money is moving into the development of services for the Bitcoin network, and the fact that it is getting easier and easier to move money into Bitcoin as an important fundamental that will potentially help facilitate an all-time high Bitcoin price in 2016. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is the technicals which are an important contributing attribute to any bull market run like we saw in 2013 and at the moment they are indicating potentially much higher prices in the short and medium term. Whilst there are a million different ways you can carry out technical analysis on a chart, the main technical indicator I am currently looking at that could be indicating that we have finished this long bear market consolidation in the price is the fact that we have just broken out the top of this two year long downtrend channel marked by the red and blue lines on the chart and it was broken on heavy buying volume highlighted by the yellow circle on the right. The breaking of this downtrend channel is very significant as it provides investors and traders with confidence that the likelihood of the price increasing at this point far outweighs potential downside risk and this could ignite not just new investment into Bitcoin from people who have been sitting on the sidelines waiting for a bottom in the price before investing but it could also flip the trade direction of the momentum traders who simply trade the dominant direction of the market. Another noteworthy technical indicator that occurred on the Bitfinex exchange shown on the chart was the formation of something called a double bottom where price capitulated and hit around the $160 to $170 mark on two separate occasions before strongly rebounding. Not only do these capitulation lows remove the weak hands from the market, it also sends a signal to investors in Bitcoin that there is a lot of buying pressure at these price levels and indicates a much better risk reward perspective for going long on the market. If this breakout from the downtrend sustains itself for the rest of 2015, we could see a technical picture that will help support the outlook for much higher Bitcoin prices as we head into 2016. The last attribute we're going to look at which could help push Bitcoin to all-time highs in 2016 is market tone, the overall attitude of investors towards the market. And this attribute is really important because when market tone becomes positive due to strengthening of both the technical and fundamentals of the market, it often brings a new wave of liquidity into the market from new investors, which is what causes these parabolic spikes in the Bitcoin price. You can see from this chart that compares the price of Bitcoin with Google Trends that when the Bitcoin price spikes, you see a strong correlation with the amount of Bitcoin search terms. And we have seen a 60 to 70 percent increase in searches since the most recent price climb to five hundred dollars. One of the main drivers of market tone, in my opinion, is the media coverage of price action in Bitcoin, especially in the mainstream media that many retail investors have exposure to on a daily basis, like we have seen recently. With the Bitcoin price pushing up to a high of $500, it brought with it a series of mainstream headlines that quickly creates hype and it highlights just how quick sentiment can change in this market. And I believe this will only get stronger as we head into 2016. So that completes the list of the main reasons why I personally believe we will see an all-time high Bitcoin price in 2016. The only caveat I'm going to put on this video is the uncertainty of how governments will react to increasing capital outflows into Bitcoin that could quickly escalate if the market was to gain strong momentum. The response from regulatory bodies is extremely hard to predict, especially in China which is home to the highest volume Bitcoin exchanges, and it's not possible to predict the exact extent to which this may take form, but it could have the effect of slowing adoption depending on what form it takes. However, if we continue to see a strengthening in both the fundamentals and technicals, market tone will naturally follow and that will complete the alignment of all three of these attributes needed to create the next stage of the bull market and one which could have huge momentum behind it. Thanks for watching the video today. If you thought it was enjoyable and informative, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content from renegadeinvestor.co.uk. Thank you.